Ross, you, you could argue that was probably the worst possible start going behind that early, but you know, we, we dug in, got that point on the road. Yeah, not like us to start uh, slow. Um, yeah, I think you watch us go behind probably after what was it, one, two minutes? So, um, I think in worst case scenario, and we, I think we reacted really, really well. And I thought, first half in particular, I thought we were the better side and got ourselves back in straight away. And, Probably made he could have scored another, or another, and at least another one. And Tristan's mighty unlucky off the post, and obviously one flashes across the box as well. So I thought we played some really good stuff first half, and we were brave and courageous and, and trying to make things happen. And second half was very, very different, and we couldn't quite get out. And they played that slope really, really well, and uh, such a danger on set pieces and in swing it so, so fast. And um, I think we've done really, really well defending corners there, and I give them some praise after. And, We've kept it, obviously, we've not conceded a corner and I thought Luca did excellent and certainly defending his area and all the defenders and everyone involved in going back and defending the corners I thought was excellent. Yeah, you talk about the you know the defensive strength there that we had in the set pieces. Is that maybe one of the things that we, we've lacked in the last few weeks and, and, and that's something that we've reacted to? Do you know what? I think defensively we're not bad. We just switch off, which which probably is a bit of a a bit of a uh, like um, uh, the opposite of what I'm trying to say. But but we've defended really well tonight, and but we've switched off. And we've switched off in the first like one or two minutes, so that's a disappointing thing. And and we tend to see see us right. We defend really really well, and we might make a silly mistake or or whatnot, or give the ball away and get caught in transition, and that tends to be the sort of story of our season. And we just didn't defend well enough one v one and. Obviously, the players crept into the back post as well, and certainly the first goal. But I think we've defended set pieces without trying to sort of um, jinx anything. We've defended set pieces really, really well tonight, and um, I think you know, as a, over the course, certainly over the, since Christmas, we I think we defended set pieces really, really well, and it's, a, it's pretty much a strength of ours. Um, but like I said, they're one of the best at set pieces, and that's where they score their goals from, and they make it really, really tough here. Yeah. And talk about the back line. Obviously, Lucas, you know, he's, he's had a, a bit of a shaky couple of weeks. He's, he's made a few mistakes here and there, but I think he's definitely kept us in the game tonight, hasn't he? With an absolutely outstanding save. Yeah, what a save that is, and um, just as they were, they were certainly on top. And but I think, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, he, he he's come under a little bit of criticism, and um, he he'll be the first to admit he thinks he should have done better in certain for certain goals. And that's not me, like obviously taking him out or anything. He he's been honest about that, and. Um, I think, uh, but but I think it's quite harsh to then sort of talk about those one or two mistakes. I know they've cost us, of course, and we're in the sort of real business end of the season, and you don't want to see those type those types of goals go in. But ultimately, over the course of the season, he's been a real asset for us, and he's done really really well. And but tonight, he's he's he's, he's won us the point tonight, and that 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 I know for a fact will turn out to be a very very good point for us on the road. And not many teams, certainly in and around Maidenhead, will come and get a point tonight. Oh, oh God, we talk about the defence there a lot, kind of makes it sound like we were under the cosh for most of the game, but obviously we had our own chances. And I think whilst we didn't really have many clear cut chances on goal, I think maybe a few of them were kind of, like, especially with Justin, it was just moments where he just couldn't get his shot away or just get that shot on goal. Yeah, I mean, you talk about, I mean, for me, we look at it as chances and box entries and how many times do we get in their box. And first half, we got in the box a lot. And Obviously, Justin hits the inside of the post and then one gets flashed across the box and then the second half he goes round the keeper, doesn't he? And then comes back round the keeper and you want him to shoot for sort of first time or whip it and maybe just takes a little bit of indecision and, and doesn't quite get his shot off quick enough. So, um, but we can't say that we haven't had those opportunities. I thought we finished both halves really, really well. Um, you can quite easy um, be defending corners and, and be playing in, in your own half. And I think we played, finished both, both, um, both halves in their half. Um, which is a real, real positive on the bit of the front foot. We've just got to, we've got to try and put it all together and start games a little bit faster. And I mean, sometimes we have started games faster and finished slowly. So we've got to make it more of a whole package. And um, it, it, like, like to finish, with it, it's a really, really good point tonight. And like I said, it, it gives us a little bit of confidence going into South End and what was a really, really tough game. And coming off the bench was Jack Barham. Mm -hmm. I, obviously, it's a fantastic signing for us. So can you give us a bit more info about that? Yeah, of course. We're uh, we're delighted to get Jack and. Obviously, we're losing Innie, and, and now we've got Tav and Jack. And um, Jack is a—he's a real—he's um, really, he's good in the air. He's a link player, and he can run in behind, and he works really, really hard. And obviously, probably looking at saying that one at the start tonight, and we didn't get Jack over the line till like 4 p.m. today, so he hadn't really met—he hadn't really hadn't met any of the players. Um, so it was his first time tonight, and it's not like he was someone who trained yesterday. So. Well, we're delighted to have him and you know, him working with Tav is in, in Jake as well is, is where we want to be and I think there's lots of goals in that team and, and obviously Tav was, was missing tonight and 
to have as a sort of tight hamstring and nothing hopefully too serious and, and fingers crossed he'll be back for the weekend and, and it was more of a precaution to to not have him tonight because because he's, he's obviously played about 170 minutes in in about what three or four days and maybe a week seven days seven days which is probably more than he's played in the last 10 months so um we're just making sure we're being careful with him and um, I'm, I'm very, very excited about getting Tav and getting Jack on the same pitch and, and getting them to gel and getting them to work together. So that's where we want to be and that's what we want it to look like. And yeah, we'll get there. Cheers, Ross. Cheers, Sam. Click here for the latest match highlights and click here to subscribe. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.